climate arose. And you would call it, as in our times, the times of austerity in the land. And he began to be in need. Times were very hard.
Then one day the young man began to assess himself. He had what we would call today a soul searching session. How many employed servants of my father have food on their tables and have enough to spare? And I am here dying of hunger. During all this time, it could be months or even years, the young man's father refused to relinquish any hope of seeing his son ever again. Day and night, he kept on looking and hoping that his son was still alive and that one day he would return home. He never, at any time, gave up hope.
question that needs an answer. God came looking for Adam one day. He normally met him in a certain place. But he hid himself. And God called Adam, where are thou? Some of us have never seen our grandparents. The question is, where are they? Our grand aunts, our grand uncles. Some of us don't know where our husbands is, even right now. Some of us don't know where our wives are. Some of us don't know where our daughters are. Some of us don't know where our sons are. Some don't even know where their brothers or sisters are. But is it good that whether you're 60, 50, 30, 40, 10, 20, that if somebody wants to find you tonight, they can go to a church building and find you there. You don't have to wait until the coffin carries you. Thank you, Pastor. Where is my boy tonight? I want you to put your hands together for our neighbors and the singers. I will rise and go to my father. And I will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you, I am no longer worthy.